Hi, my name is Jessica DiCicco, and I'm a youth services intern at West Orange Public Library. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll be reading How Do You Lift a Lion by Robert E. Wells. Did you ever try to lift a lion? You'd have to be awfully strong. It's because of the force of gravity. Gravity pulls objects downward. When that object is as massive as a lion, it pulls pretty hard. With a lever, you can lift a heavy weight with much less effort. The main part of a lever is a bar or a rod, which balances or pivots on a fulcrum. If the force side is longer than the load side, you will have leverage. Leverage adds force to your own strength. With a force side this long, you could lift a lion. Now, do you suppose you could lift 10 lions? Out. The longer the force side is compared to the load side, the more leverage you will have. So, if you had a lever with a handle this long, maybe you could lift them a little. Did you ever try to pull a panda on a pallet? It would be pretty hard. Gravity is pulling down on that panda. And there's also friction between the ground and the pallet. Friction or resistance happens when two surfaces rub together. The more weight pushing on the surfaces, the more friction there is. If you put wheels on your pallet, there would be less friction and you wouldn't have to pull quite so hard. Wagon wheels are mounted on axles. At the wheel center is a bearing which turns on the axle. A bearing's inside surface is smooth, so it makes very little friction. Oiling a bearing's inside surface makes it slippery, so it has even less friction. This is called lubrication. Wheels with bearings make much less friction than pallet bottoms. That's why you can pull the panda now even though he's just as heavy. If you begin to go downhill, gravity takes over to pull your load. Gravity not only pulls objects straight down, it pulls them down slopes. So now that you don't have to pull, you could carry a much bigger load. And look, they jumped on there with the panda too. Or now you could carry a pyramid of pandas. And the steeper the slope, the faster gravity will make you go. And if the slope began to get very steep, you'd probably wish you had more friction to slow you down. What's going on here? Did you ever try to deliver a big basket of bananas to a baboon birthday party? It would be mighty heavy. How would you get all those bananas all the way up to those baboons? Let's see. With pulleys, it would be much easier to lift. So we're gonna go up, 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 up. You see the pulley here? Whoop, there's a one. A pulley has a wheel with a groove around it to hold a rope. When you lift with one pulley, your lifting strength stays the same, but the direction of force is changed. With two pulleys, your lifting strength is doubled. You'll use twice as much rope, but you can also lift twice the load. Yes, pulleys make it much easier to deliver a big basket of bananas to a baboon birthday party. <sighs> but perhaps a smaller basket would have been better. 
So my friends, that was How Do You Lift a Lion by Robert E. Wells. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you are inspired to lift your own lion. <laughs>